So I need to cut some time out of this intro. Here's a viewer's voice. A so-called pastor slash prophet who leads an in-home church congregation in Balch Springs is charged with injury to a child. I don't think that there's any worse sin, mortal sin, than killing a child. Police say she claimed God told her a two-year-old boy was possessed by a demon and the cure was to starve the demon out of him. After 25 days without food, police say the boy died. What parents does that? Who does that in the name of Christ? Everybody that was in that room should be accountable for it. And the pastor is a demon. And the preacher and everybody else that was involved with that should be brought up on child endangerment. A sex offender who walked away from a Fort Worth halfway house was captured this morning in Thackerville, Oklahoma. If he's so violent, why is he even in a halfway house? Why? Police say while he was on the run, he may be responsible for an aggravated robbery and kidnapping in North Richland Hills. Listen, he was about to get out anyway, so if his urges are that bad that he has to cut the monitor off and go do something, he should have never been let out to the halfway house in the first place. I want to kick him in the b Yeah, I shut him down, down. Grapevine High School decided to send out a letter acknowledging a two-year-old racist rap recorded by then-freshman students, a 13-year-old and a 14-year-old. I don't care. The society is way too sensitive. Who cares? So what? The girls also sent anonymous apologies. These were the only kinds of calls we got. Two little girls made a stupid little song. And Big news. Come on. Get over it. The Dallas City Council playing what seems to be word games with the 20-year-old Trinity River Roadway project. They decided to back away from a plan, calling it a high-speed tollway, and consider instead something called a meandering parkway that you still might be charged to drive on. Huh? If they're just going to make it just to have more tollways and people have to pay to go through the tollway, and they need to get rid of that project. I think that's a waste of uh, taxpayers' money. We need to repair the streets we've already got. Johnny Bulletproof. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello with a report on a home window security system by a guy calling himself Johnny Bulletproof. The window treatments pitched to protect from forces like tornado strength, wind, tossing two-by-fours and such. <laughs> the test was a fail. 3N makes the film coating. They say Mr. Bulletproof botched the install. We're leaving that up to you to decide, which is why it changed from a product test to a consumer alert warning. Johnny Bulletproof is the biggest liar I've ever seen, and if he comes in anybody's direction, you better run as fast as you can in the opposite direction. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Huh? Yeah, they just shot it. Police say two dogs attacked seven people in a Plano park, including an officer. Police shot and killed one of the dogs. Glad the police department shot these goddamn worthless ass dogs. And now what needs to happen there is hang the goddamn owners. The owners agreed to have the other dog put down. This guy likes dogs a lot more than he likes me, but makes up some stuff about kids throwing rocks at the dogs to provoke them, something nobody said but this guy. A Steve Joker eager. If someone was throwing rocks and aggravating you, Joker, wouldn't you become aggressive? What's the kids going to get? Not a damn thing. Dan's here. Dan's always talking about how MMA guys are tougher than boxers. Finally, Mike Ducey had fighter Terrence Crawford in studio this week. He's got a championship fight this weekend. He played a little soft touch with Ducey for a while, but this caller got concerned when it looked like Dan Henry might get involved. Dan Henry? Go back over there at the weather station because I don't want you to get hurt. We don't want nobody to mess up your beautiful face. Uh, they could beat up on Mike Ducey all day long, you know, the boxer. Dan Henry, no. It's not in the face! Woo! Something on your mind? Call the voice, but not like this. Call me back. I need to report an incident. Uh, the voice doesn't call back. 214-720-3103 or send an email from the website, fox4news.com.